we are probably the only country in the world in which fiscal spending declined during the pandemic. In the pandemic year 2021, our overall government spending by the central government did not increase, it fell. And this is remarkable. In a situation in which you have a major contraction of the economy caused by a lockdown, caused by a dramatic denial of the ability to earn to almost your entire population, and uh, therefore a private sector that is clearly going to be unwilling to invest or to even keep up production because of the massive decline in consumption demand, the supply chain constraints, and the uncertainties. The only agency that can actually somehow shore up domestic demand is the state. Now, governments across the world recognized this. On average, the advanced economies spent about 12.5% of GDP beyond what they normally spent. Uh, BRICS countries and the developing countries in the G20 also, you find significant increases in spending. Not a huge amount, but between 6 to 8%. The only other example is Mexico, which did not increase spending that much, but still by 1.5% of GDP. But in India, we now have data from the Indian government, which is telling us that they spent less. Now, this, is, this really means that the government was effectively adding to a contractionary impulse in the economy. And so in addition to the fact that you are not meeting the basic social economic rights of citizens, you are also inhibiting the possibilities of economic recovery of the micro, small and medium enterprises that employ 85% of your workforce. You are providing a complete uh, macroeconomic de-stimulus, if you like, that adds to all the contractionary elements. And therefore, for any economy to recover in this situation is that much harder and is going to take that much longer. What this means is that we really have no framework for dealing now with emergencies or extreme contingencies of any kind. And let's not kid ourselves. Yes, this pandemic is not over yet, but this is not going to be the last pandemic. This is not going to be the last natural disaster or catastrophe to hit either India or the world. And again, across the world, governments are recognizing this, putting in place or seeking to create structures and institutions that can cope with response to such emergencies and calamities. Once again, here we have the opposite. We have a center at war with the state governments, which is denying them either the ability to make decisions and denying them financial resources, which are rightfully theirs, not giving them the capacity to join in decisions that affect them. them. And therefore you have actually a recipe for real disaster when we are faced with the next crisis, which is inevitable.